had a roommate. <laughs> I had a roommate that um when he lost his key, you know, he would come through the window. What's good everybody? I'm Will and you I watch Trusted Wheel TV. Alright, so if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you, you know, because you didn't have to do this, but you did it anyway. And if you're old, welcome back. I appreciate you for coming back, you know. Alright, what I need all y'all to do is like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and turn on your post notifications so you can get all the notifications for my videos. Alright, so I will be telling y'all five college hacks, tips that, you know, very important for you to know before you move in so you can like move in all good and everything be straight or whatever all right first thing is get in there what time should you get there and i suggest get there early enough so you can be in line like at the front of the line not at the back of the line or in the middle of the line the next important thing when moving in is cleaning everything okay so you probably think that they clean after that person moves out Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But what you wanna do is take that initiative, clean up. You probably look at a surface and be like, oh, well, there's nothing here. But I'm trying to tell you, like, germs, bacteria, like, that's a real thing. So you wanna get you some lights off, spray, some wipes, all types of cleaning stuff so you can wipe down and clean before you move in. You don't wanna bring your stuff that's clean from your house to a dirty dorm room. I'm trying to tell you, look, clean before you unpack anything. The next thing is packing your clothes. You probably packed all of your clothes and suitcases. Do not pack your clothes and suitcases. If you ride in public transportation, going to school, only put your stuff in suitcases. But if you're riding in the car from your house to school, leave more hangers and just hang your clothes up instead of just unpacking out of suitcases and putting them on hangers if you have any and if you don't have any you gotta go to the store and get some and the next thing is going to the store on move-in day don't get groceries weeks before you move in get your groceries the day that you move in so you don't have all of this extra stuff in the car when you coming down to school you know especially if you coming from out of state like me going to the school in louisiana you know I can't bring some hot pockets like by the time I get to Louisiana it takes 17 hours to get there so the hot pockets gonna be melted you don't want that to happen so go grocery shopping the day that you get there and the last thing probably the most important actually is talking to your roommate you know if you stay in a dorm it's likely we have a roommate and some sweet bakes so you want to establish rules from the jump you don't want something to happen and then you explain to your roommate, hey, this is why this happened or this is what I am. You know, read in between the lines of what I'm saying. Like what you like to do when you sleep and all types of stuff. Talk to them. Your roommate is the person that's going to be there with you every day. You know, he or she lives with you. Speak to them. You must communicate with your roommate. So it's better to talk to them before anything happens, you know, so that you ain't can be prepared like if you try to get somebody to come over and you don't want them to be there especially if you know you are not comfortable with them knowing what you like or what you like to do talk to them so they don't come into the room you know i had a roommate <laughs> i had a roommate that um when he lost his key you know he would come through the window and you know I didn't have his number. We use GroupMe to communicate with each other. So like, you know, if he needed to come to the room and you know, I wasn't there, I could like leave the door open. If I was having somebody over, I could tell him, hey, you know, don't come to the room. Or if he was having somebody over, he could tell me, hey, don't come to the room. Everything would be good. But y'all gotta communicate. Like let each other know that, you know, y'all doing stuff so y'all don't, you know, get any drama, or anything happens, you know? But that leads me to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed this video so much. You know, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and turn on your post notifications so you can get all the notifications for my videos, you know. And I will see y'all on the next episode of Transcendental TV.